This is NBC News for Universal Kids. I'm Savannah Sellers, and here's your Week in Review. Exploring Mars without even leaving Earth. Welcome to Mars. The Mars Desert Research Station is in the middle of a Utah desert. It's where all types of scientists go to prepare for future trips to the Red Planet. Why is the desert like Mars? You're exposed to extreme cold, extreme low pressures, extreme heat. It's a very difficult environment to survive in. Scientists do experiments and training missions in the rough desert conditions. And they live just like astronauts will, complete with small bedrooms and space food. It tastes better than it looks, I promise. The idea of going to Mars, even if it's a one-way trip, certainly appeals to me. While most of the scientists at the research station won't travel to Mars, they are figuring out how future astronauts will deal with such harsh conditions. Anything that can happen on Earth can happen on Mars. Major difference is that help is 140 million miles away. NASA hopes to send humans to Mars by 2030, and maybe you'll be one of those astronauts. Hurricane hunters making history. The first ever all-female flight crew of hurricane hunters just flew into the history books. Captain Christy Twining and Lieutenant Commander Rebecca Waddington piloted their first mission over the Pacific Ocean to track Hurricane Hector. Our flight directors came up to us and said, hey, we need to take a picture of this. We're making history. What are you talking about? <laughs> I said, oh, you guys are the first female flight crew. We're like, oh, that's neat. <laughs> These military trained pilots work for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also known as NOAA. They gather information about storms so scientists can figure out where the storm will go, how strong it will be, and who is in danger. The pilots fly close to the storm, a risk they have to take to get accurate information. Christy and Rebecca are the only two women in the group of 16 active Hurricane Hunter pilots. Just because it's not a traditional lifestyle or, or um, career for a, a woman, it's, it's certainly something that we're good at. It's important for, for women to step up and try and accomplish what they need to do to do this kind of work. And now, have you seen this? A real Lego car. Engineers in the Czech Republic designed the first ever Lego car that you can drive. It's built to look like a really fast car called the Bugatti Chiron. The Lego Technic fits two passengers, uses over one million Lego pieces, and is powered by 2,304 motors. That's way better than anything I've ever built with Legos. The future of farming. Most of the food we eat comes from farms. Agriculture, or farming, is a big business and produces food for millions of people. But right now, it's hard to find enough farm workers to do jobs like plant and pick crops, run tractors, and water fields. Last year, most California farms didn't have enough helpers to work the farm. Many farmers used to depend on immigrants to work their farms. But since our country's immigration laws have become more strict, there are fewer farm workers from Mexico and other countries. And farmers say it's hard to find Americans who want to do farm work. This shortage of workers has lots of farmers turning to high-tech equipment. The way we used to do this is the workers would get in here by hand and, and do this all manually, removing the, the leaves from the fruit zone. Brad Gehring's family has been farming grapes in California for over 100 years. It used to take 30 people to pull the leaves off these grape plants, but now this leaf puller does the job. Pretty exciting. <laughs> So this shortage of workers is forcing farmers to be creative and find new ways to harvest our food. And now, have you seen this? Oh, check out the beaded kicks. This Native American artist mixes tradition and modern fashion with these colorful works of art. She first beaded a pair for her son to help him identify with his Standing Rock Sioux tribe. Now, lots of people ask her to make them a pair. That's your look at this week's NBC News for Universal Kids. Now, go join the conversation. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.